Uh-oh, he's getting us on film. How are you guys doing? What are you doing? Just, uh... Wait a minute. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, I'm just a, a pub, per, person from the public. Shut that off. Oh, no thanks. Shut that off. I will call security right now. Why would I have to shut my camera off? Because I want you to. Hmm. Well, I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Okay. Sorry. Well, you... Sir, you're not supposed to be photographing those materials. You have to pay for them. There's also a cam back over here. Where's security? Why don't you just press the red button? We're going to hit the panic button, guys. We're taking photos in public. Policy against filming in this office. No, there's not. And I'm telling you now. Where's the policy? The building. Let's see the policy. Sir? Where's the policy? Sir, you have to leave the building now. Why do I have to leave the building? I've told you to leave the building. You're now trespassing in this it's building. It's not trespassing. Sir? It's trespassing. It's not trespassing. Sir, it's trespassing. How is it trespassing? You're going, way. You're going out this way. Why are you guys putting your hands on me? Why are you guys removing me from this building? Have a good day. Let's go. Sir, you, you, know sir, you violated you the policy. Go. There is no policy against filming in public. Have a good day. No policy about filming in public. Have a good day. You guys are making a big mistake. Yeah, I know. That's why okay. I'm going to show you. As far as public, being a public servant, you guys have no right to expectation of privacy. It is a constitutionally protected activity to get your pictures taken down here, to have video recording the co our, our public servants in the course of their duties. Hitting the panic button and having security remove me is... Uh, Illegal on your guys' end. But listen, y'all, these kids want to act up in school, want to go to school and embarrass you, want to make like they got no home training. So I told my son, don't go to school, master no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're going to embarrass me like this? No, so now I'm going to cut his hair. Oh, I got to ask you. Hey. 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 Now I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your identity. You're not getting it. Don't embarrass me. I told you, don't embarrass me. No. Down here today at the Erie County Clerk's Office, and this is a courthouse as well inside. Um, down here to do a First Amendment audit at the clerk's office records room, make sure they have no problem with this video recording in public, and they respect our rights to uh, be in public and video record. So let's go ahead and get inside here. It is March 1st, and to the back side of this, on the other side, that is the Rath building in where Jeremy Tolt's office up on the 16th floor where we were the other day. But let's go ahead and get inside here. This is a court. This, a court this area, area right here is a court area. Yeah, yeah, but the law, the New York State law doesn't cover court area. Well, it's pretty specific. That's what our supervisors told us. Can't do it in here, okay? In there, you can. You know, you you've been here before. You can do it in there and everything. Just not in this specific room. Okay? Yeah, you can record in this lobby. Yeah. No, you can't. I just. Yeah, I know what they think. That you think you can't, but okay, you well, can. Okay, I'm telling you right now, and I'm being polite. I'm so telling you that you can. On a power trip in there, they think that that's part of the courtroom. As you can see, this is here where it tells you you're going into the courthouse there, the court building here, so that's not part of the courthouse. Sure you don't want to use these? 
Uh-oh, he's getting listening to him. How are you guys doing? What are you doing? Just, uh... Wait a minute. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, I'm just a, a pub, per, person from the public. Shut that off. Oh, no, thanks. Shut that off. I will call security right now. Yeah. Where's my number? 2156. I'm asking you nicely to shut that off. Why would I have to shut my camera off? Because I want you to. Well, I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Okay, Sorry. well, you will not have to, guys. Hi, I need to go to the basement. A gentleman is videoing here, and I'm asking him not to. We're 92 Franklin Street. Thank you. Bye. Oh. Sir, you're not supposed to be photographing those materials. You have to pay for them. That's They're an, not free. There's no law against filming these things in public, no. Take this picture. Let's take your picture. So we know exactly who you are. Oh, there's also a cam back over here. Where's security? Why don't you just press the red button? I know. You're going to hit the panic button, guys. You know the drill, fam. When they hit that panic button, you smash that like button for your boy Erie County. Guys, they're taking photos in public. Can I get your name? No. You just take photographs of people and... That's what you're doing. I know, but yours is... Harassing people. Yours is discoverable. I know we've met before that and we've already established that filming down here is legal. I'm saying I can't even hear you so I'm not worried about it. I said we've met before and that uh, we've already established that this is legal. This is not legal. <laughs> it is. We said the same thing last night. Filming in public. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yep. Right. Thank you. He's videotaping you now. Court records that we have down here. Okay. And as we've told him, there's a fee for that. Down in this one up, he must have just passed her. Okay. He did, just started filming. Didn't ask us, didn't tell us, just started doing it. That's against your. Okay, sir, I'm informed that you're violating the policy by taking pictures of their documents. Well, the policy, the, can't, policy. the policy can't trump the United States Constitution. Okay, sir, you're being asked to leave now, and I'm telling you to 
do you uh, exit the building unless you have other business here? I have official business here. Do you have other business? I have official Besides business. Here. It's filming right here. Okay, sir, that's not official business. It is official yes, business. It's constitutionally protected business. Sir, you're doing something in here that's violating the policy. Yeah, there is no of policy this office. against there is no policy against filming in public. Erie County fam, I'm gonna pause it here for a second to point out something about this female officer who's gonna be big mouth about this illegal trespass, but she also my opinion knows she's in the wrong because the entire time make note she's going to cover that name tag and that id number the entire time she's on camera and i did get a little bit of it so here's what i've got of it i don't know the last digits of that number but you can tell she knows she's in the wrong because she keeps covering it up make note fam right so there's a policy against filming in this office no there's not and i'm telling you now, where's the policy the building? let's see the policy sir Where's the policy? Sir, you have to leave the building now. Why do I have to leave the building? Because I've been told... You've been told by a lady that there's the a policy, policy yes, but the policy can't trump the United States Constitution. <laughs> filming down here is perfectly legal. All right, sir. I've, I've been down here filming before. I've told you leave the building. You're now trespassing in this it's building. It's not trespassing. Sir, it's trespassing. It's not told trespassing. You, sir, it's trespassing. How is it trespassing? Because you've been told there's by no policy party. against filming sir, it in, in the matter. clerk's I've offices. Told you, leave. you gotta leave, or you're gonna be arrested for trespassing. You got the elevator or the stairs? Why do I have to leave? Because you're trespassing. Where's the sir? sheriff's? We gotta call the sheriff's department. Then go call the sheriff's, but come do on. it from outside do that this up building. Here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going out this way. No, sir. You're going out this way. way. You're going out this way. Why are you guys putting your hands on me? You guys are you guys are core security. Come on, sir. Let's go. Where's the sheriff's department? I'll take you there across the street. Let's go. Yeah. Let's call the sheriff. Let's door. call the sheriff. I know where the sheriff's department. I want to call him here. Let's call the sheriff's here. They're in another building. Come on, sir. You guys are making a big mistake. No, you're asking me where the sheriffs are. I'm gonna let you. I know, know where the there. sheriffs are. Then if you know, why are you acting like you're in this building? Why? Why are you guys removing me from this building? Have a good day. Let's go. Sir, you, you, so you violated the policy. Go. There is no policy against filming in public. Have a good day. No policy right. about filming in public. Have a good day. You guys are making a big mistake. Yeah, I know. That's why okay. I'm gonna show you. Go contact the, sheriff the sheriffs. Come on. Have a good day. Come on. I'm calling the sheriff right here. Go ahead. Go for it. You're gonna call the sheriff. I'm calling him right here. Okay. I can Stay take you over there, but you call. Go ahead. Stay right there and call. Go ahead. I need a sheriff down at the uh, county clerk's office, uh, county county hall. I just had I had uh, the court clerks shove me out of the building for filming in public. I want to file a police report down here. Yep. It's our county hall. I'm not sure the exact address. It's the um, county clerk's office and courthouse. Um, I had the court uh, officers shove me hands on, go hands on, and shove me out of the building for filming in the clerk's office. Okay, are you I'm sitting. Yeah, I'm, uh, this would be Church and Franklin, yeah. I was in, inside, inside the clerk's office and a bunch of clerk, or a bunch of uh, court officers grabbed me up and illegally trespassed me and shoved me out the door, hands on. And I like a sheriff down here. Not the court. I'm at the steps of the front of uh, County Hall. I'm not sure the. I'm not sure the the address. It's in County Hall, the front steps of the security entrance of the clerk's office. My name is Daniel.
yeah, court officers trespassed me, illegally trespassed me from the building while I was conducting my business. Because someone told them there's a policy about filming in public and there's not. There's no policy that trumps the Constitution. So I'm, I'm at the front steps in between the Rath building and the county clerk's county hall, standing on the steps. Somebody will be coming down. Thank you. Where's the court supervisor? Sorry? The court supervisor. Oh, the court supervisor? Yeah. We'll bring him out for you. They'll we'll bring him out here because yep. I got the sheriffs on their way as well. All right, great. Thank you very much. Thanks. What's the name of the supervisor that's supposed to be coming down here? We call him. See, even the lotion didn't even know. We call him is his name? I'm not sure he's coming yet. These guys are punks. Hello. Yeah, I called for the sheriff's department to come to the Erie County uh, County Hall. Um, they said they're sending, they transferred me to the sheriff's department and uh, supposedly. Yeah, they said they can't so that you're not at the building anymore. Hey, I'm here. Film, and I'm a private citizen. I have nothing to do with this. Got something better to do? Uh, the sheriffs are not coming here? I'm, sta I'm standing right at the uh, county hall, right where you would walk into the entrance. I, I, the county hall with a... Uh, across, uh, across the street from the Rath building is the county hall. The old county hall. Yes, there's a courthouse in here. There's also four court clerk's offices. Yeah, they shoved me out the door for video recording in public. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to transfer you back to see if the city is the Okay? Yep. Thank you. If you're... All right. Hang out. Dispatcher Murphy, this is Dan Warmers. I'm still sitting in front of County Hall, the old County Hall building. Um, 911 says that you guys tried pushing the call to Buffalo Police. And she wasn't sure what's going on, and she just called me back and sent me back to you. Uh, court officers. Did you talk about court officer supervisor? Um, they're telling me they're not sure if he's coming out or not, and they physically just threw me out of here against my will for simply silently filming inside one of the clerk's offices, which is not a crime. There's no policy against it. This is about to cause a lawsuit. And I want a police officer down here to set these guys straight because I don't think they know the law or the policy. I would like to speak to the court office supervisor and the actual law enforcement officer, someone who can enforce the law. Call you back if I don't hear from nobody in 20 minutes. Yeah. He's coming? He's coming up shortly, yep. They're on the way. They're on the way. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, right. I, I go cool. for it. Can you just put that down just for a second? Hey, you, you, you can leave the video with the audio on. Just put the camera away from me. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want anyone to get in trouble. No one else is going to tell you this. The reason we do what we do because there are, this is a criminal supreme bill. And I'm, I got I'm, it, listen, I, 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 hear me out, to do with hear me out for They're something. violating the civil rights and right. civil rights. I understand, hear me out though, and then we can both talk. I'll give you the floor, I promise. This is a criminal supreme bill, and no one else will tell you this, but we have kids that are trying to hide their identity from child abuse. They're in the hallways, people that don't want to testify in big time in cases. Room? In the, the hallways, room? in the hallways. My so, objective was to film the records room. 
I understand that. But you also have to understand our point of view as well. We have a job to do, and we know you want to still have your rights. And we get that, because I'm a huge supporter of it, too. I read the people on my arm. But the thing is, there are people's private records down there. Things could be open. And if it was you, do you have, do you have kids? Do you have kids? It's open. I'm not going to, uh, in people's personal documents. Stuff. I get that. I do. I, get that. I do. I, I have three daughters. All right, so hear me out. Do me a favor. Listen, I get what you're trying to do. But the thing is, I don't want to see you get strung out on something that's so stupid and it's something that could be avoided. I'm a good guy. I'm a father. I'm meeting my son right after work for a beer. I don't want any problems out here. We don't want any problems out here. And the sergeants, you start calling them in. That's when the problems start. But that's the reason. What do you mean a problem with calling no, the sergeant? No, there's a lot. Because they have a job to do as well. And I'm just coming out here to talk to man to man. Well, I wasn't in the courtroom. Now you guys got me standing out here filming the entrances. Now these people that you want to keep private. Doesn't that make sense that I should have been able to film the public's room? I was silently. I was minding my business. I wasn't talking to nobody. Right. I have a right to be down there. Uh, you have a right to be down there. And yes, I have you a do. right to film. There is no policy that prevents me from filming down and there. And I actually asked them, what is the policy? And they're trying to figure that out right now through the state. They're actually making calls. But the thing is, I've the one thing they the said is there state. are. They said, one thing they said to me is there are people's personal records they leave open on the desk when they're doing the work through I'm the not day. in there collecting but people's might, personal information. But when you have a camera going in that direction, they might think you're doing that. So it's kind of hard to determine they what's going think on. I'm doing something doesn't right. give them the right to put their hands on me and throw me out for doing Listen, something that's constitutionally protected. I see. You seem like a nice guy. You really do. And I'm a nice guy. As well. I'm doing this for the right purpose. This I know I'm you not are. down there to punk these people. I know you But are. they need to understand that the people have rights. They do. But if we could just do it on another level, like if you want to do this, here's what There's I do. There's no let, other level. Let me, let me recommend there. something. I wasn't to down you. there like on the counters, video See, recording. They're, they're all the, the women and the men that work down there. They don't know what you're doing, you know so what they, they want? automatically assume. You know what the women and when women down there think they own that office and they don't. No, what they do is they own the records that they're working on. That's what they do have to be. They're totally responsible. They're custodians of that. Of course exactly. they are. Exactly. And, and their jobs are on the line. If something gets out to the public, their jobs are of on the line. Of course they are. I agree. Do me a favor. Let's try if this. If I was filming down there and if, I caught somebody's personal information, I was publishing a film, right. I would totally blur that stuff out. I would. It's, it, and it's well, see, my we, we can't my trust ethic. you. I mean, you seem like a nice guy said, but we can't trust you for that. Why don't you try this? But that doesn't mean you can throw me out okay. physically. Well, then why don't we do this the right way? Here's my suggestion to you. Why don't we set something up where you're, we, we could be down there with you. You could say, I'm only going to record this, this, and this. And then it wouldn't be such a problem. But when people just walk in, they assume you're trying to get that personal stuff. Do you know, sorry about that. Do you know what I'm saying, though? <laughs> no, That's what people I assume. understand what they assume. But that lady that told them there's a policy and had me thrown out, we've been through this with her. Right. When the security went down and they told them it is my right, and now you guys are going to throw me out. This is going to cause a cluster jam up for the people who run this place right. and the people who are going to redress their grievances. Good night. If you would try something new for me, come back a and different I, day. And I get what you're saying, but the yeah. problem is, you came in this said, is a First Amendment right. audit. By the way, an audit, right? my name is Officer Ray Bowers. My badge number is 343. No, and you're, you're a cool guy, and we're you talking, know? and I, I yeah. appreciate the I appreciate dialogue. what you're doing as well. But here's the but thing. But I'm not down here to collect people's information. I understand. You, I, Those people down there, they, they know me by name more than like. I know. You could tell me that all day long, and I, I could believe you. But people that have never met you and have the dialogue we have, they automatically think that you're doing something wrong. And I'll give you an example. Let's what, just say those, those court officers that grab me up physically and push me out of a public building for being in public for exercising a constitutional right. Right. And you didn't to, even ask my side of the story. You have they to also didn't even take, one thing take too. nothing. They didn't question me. They didn't say, hey, right. what's going on? She says this. I told them there is no policy against filming in public. There can't right. be. It, it, it would be impossible. It would be null and void on its face. Right. Let me ask you a question. Let's just say someone today, you go home, you have three daughters at home. Let's just say, I, some, not me, but someone else walked into your yard or walked up past your sidewalk and was filming in front of your house. You would just kind of want to know, you think, what are they filming me for? You're talking, Fair there's enough. a big difference between public and private. Exactly. There are private records, there are private cases, there's private people walking I took walking some pictures of some house. atlases Yep. and the paintings so on the walls. Do me a favor. What's your first name, by the way? My, my name's Dan. I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Dan. I, I'm good. I can't take anything. I'm on camera all the time. And you have to understand, my name is Mike. There's cameras in here all the time, you're right. I understand, but there's cameras that are run by the state. If you do me a favor, try to call back, set something up where we can have I officers do down there. You and you know, know what, we'd be happy that. to, yes you are. The, the there officers, are spots you can officers film. should be happy to go down there and be like, all right, what's he doing wrong? Right. They didn't do that. 
All we get is a closet. They, they grab me, they put but, their hands on me, they're shoving me up on their chest on if me. If you go down Proof with us, the if you go down right. with us and we say, listen, we looked all this up, Dan wants to come down, he's only going to film this atlas, he's going to film this here and this but here, you, the then we can with walk down with you. You're making it sound like I have to ask for my for rights. There, are, well, No, you don't have to ask for your rights, I'm but there are certain them. spots. The you can't walk into the Pentagon and expect to start filming in there. No, but I can walk into the Pentagon into publicly accessible areas. Yes, you can, and that is correct. And I wasn't in any but restricted areas. People as a matter of fact, there are some doorways in here where I walked up to that are questionable whether they're publicly accessible or not. Right. I just don't go in those areas. Right. Right? In, listen, I'm I, not breaking the rules. I, I get it. I, I, I don't it. break the rules. I don't break the law to come in here. I got to legally trespass right now, hands on. No These guys were animals just now. No one wants to do that. They I did want to do it. They, they thrived I off it. I, I understand you don't. I don't. You listen, seem like listen, a cool guy. I appreciate that. And so do you. And that's what I'm saying. Everyone has things to do after work today. If you come back here tomorrow, I'll have my sergeant waiting out here for you. When you is there a supervisor coming down here now? I, listen, the supervisors are jammed. They just made two arrests in a, in a criminal case down there. A fight started in the courtroom. I can't pull a supervisor out of there. Come talk. Can I go back in the building? If listen, do right me a now. favor. I'm not doing anything if wrong. You, listen, I understand. You would be a hero for the listen, people if you can get me in there right now. I understand. The sergeant's last. I have, to, I have a job. I can't lose my job because I have to pay my bills. And did you swear an oath to take his job? I certainly did. And my last. And you're standing, trying to uphold your oath, and I understand. Last, I'm, I'm I listen, hope and that's I'm why I'm out here you. talking to you, Dan. That's why I'm out here talking to you, because you seem like a good dude. I don't, and I don't want no problems. Trust me. But what I'm saying though, if you come back here tomorrow, camera down, I'll say, Sergeant, this is Dan. He just wants to film certain parts of this. We'll make sure no records are out. I can't do for that. For me, do it. I can't do that. For me, do it. Try it once. And guaranteed, I'm working all day tomorrow. I'll talk to my sergeant. The sergeant this isn't the first time I've been in that room. They tried kicking me out of there before, and they so came down, and they did the right thing try before. Try something different. This time, they didn't even question it. They just took some lady's word for it. Listen, I get it. Try something different with me. If you want the access, let me help you. Let me if help you. If I didn't you. have a camera and I was walking around down there, yeah. would there be any problem? Listen. Would there? If, you know would what? I have to come and ask you to walk around down there? No, because you can't visually record things. You can. Not visually. If I was secretly recording, if I had a pen camera on me, what's you know the what? difference? I'm That's sure, not I'm illegal. Sure, I'm That's sure, not I'm illegal. Sure there's a way. Yes, That's not right. illegal. I'm sure there's a way. But you know what? Listen, you seem like a good I'm guy. I'm openly doing what I'm doing. I, I'm not hiding it. I'm not being nefarious. So why don't we just openly do what you're doing? Stop back tomorrow. I'm not sure if you have to go to work tomorrow or do whatever you're doing. I will be here all day. If I get a call up here 316, I'll tell them to ask for Mike. We'll talk to the sergeant and say... Where, where there is Why filming? Why is it up to the sergeant that I have my constitutional rights? You know what? Rights? If it was me, I'd say follow me. Let's go down there right now, I, right? It's not up to me. It's exactly, right, that's what I would say, but it's not my decision. How come not one of those officers down there stopped and even thought, hey, what is this? What's going on? Does this guy have a right to be down here? Listen, I get it. That's all I can say at this point, Dan. You know I mean, what? this lady says policy against filming. Yeah. The only, listen, I'm telling you what it's about down there. It's not about people's personal records. It's not about personal information. It's about money, my friend. It's Listen, about money. We get paid for those records. Get they set it on the camera. Yeah. Sir, you're not supposed to be photographing those materials. You have to pay for them. Right? I don't that, know that anything pub, about that. But. It comes down to public records laws. Public records laws allows them to charge X amount per, per page, right? right? Now, here's how that works. The reason that law is there is so that if I was suing the county and I wanted to pull them records and I need it for my law, law case, right? Right. They can charge me 50 cents a copy. That's so they can't charge me $800 a copy to make it impossible for me to fight the county. That's why that law is. That law doesn't mean because they get 50 cents a copy, they get to charge for the copies and I can't take a camera down there and take a picture of a map. Listen, no one said you can't. They, uh, well, first of all, I didn't oh, say you can. You didn't say I can't. I will agree with that, you but what, I had, I don't know. I have to go, I'm going to say go. there was at least eight cops put their hands on me and threw me out of there saying I can't do that, and I can. I had to go downstairs. You said you would not do that for me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. But I had to go close. If you could do me a favor, I don't want any problems tonight. You seem, like I said, you seem like a super good guy. And listen, just for the sake of doing things, I would love to see you get escorted down there by us, and you could film what you need to film. We can make sure nothing's out. Because, yes, you are partially correct. There are some places you can film down there. 
but I mean, has, where the public is allowed. To be done, Brandon vs. Behaves. It's a Supreme Court ruling that anywhere the public I, is allowed, the, the press is allowed. We have the same. Correct. You're, you're the press. I'm the press. Just this lady walking out here is the press. Right. Everybody around here on this soil is press. So do this. And we can all run there, a camera there down there. There's spaces in between. The only and law in New York State that allows it, you're not allowed to hey, run what? a camera right. in New York State, is inside of a courtroom. Right. In the hallway connected to the courtroom, the, the hallway therefore of yeah. the courtroom. There's that doesn't include this this lobby here, this yeah. corridor here. That doesn't that law doesn't include this. This is another policy. They're telling me I can't film in this little corridor. I can. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll do that. I will first thing tomorrow morning. I open on the Delaware side. I, I open the mags on the other side. We open at eight thirty. Tonight I'll look to find out where it's good, where it's not. You follow what we say. I know well, where it's good. Listen, I'll show you in writing. I, I, do, I work with the laws. I do this show, for a living. Then we need to show it in writing. I do this for a living. Show it in and, and The law is written good. literally right on the wall. Okay. They said the law for the court where you cannot run a camera without a judge's permission right. is the courtroom, the hallway therefore of, mm -hmm. meaning you can't stand in the hallway outside the courtroom and film into the courtroom, right? The court's offices, whether it's the judge's <laughs> office, the clerk, court clerk's offices, and then hallways therefore of, Meaning you can't stay in the hallway and film into their offices. Okay. That doesn't include this corridor here. All right. It doesn't include the, the it certainly doesn't include the, the publicly accessible areas in the, any of the four clerks' offices in here. Because there's four. There's one downstairs, there's one up here, there's one on the other side here, and then there's the pistol permits. Sure. Those are court clerks. There's no law against filming and, or being right. in well, public listen, there. Listen, I have to go. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Dan. Really, it has. I mean, if you're not going to... I just I thought maybe we'd I, be able to work together on this. You know? I, listen, it's not... I, you know what? I, I appreciate that. I really yeah. do. But it's not about that. It's about what, what the people are going to say on the other end of this thing, right? I understand. If I come down here and listen. ask for my rights or you escort me around, all right, we do that, right? Yeah. I come back in a week or a month from now. Am I going to have to ask you to escort me around again, or is it going to be... Doing things right. Thank you very much. Am I going to have to be escorted around again, or am I going to have my I rights then? I can't tell you what's going to happen in the future. I'm just trying to make things easy, man. Because, like I said, third time, you seem like a good guy. It's been a pleasure meeting. I have to go close down right now. I, we put a call into the sergeant. When he gets here, he gets here. Um, so if you want to just hang out for now, I have to do what my sergeant said. And what was said before is what's going on. What's the sergeant's on? name? Uh, I'm, do I'm doing it right now. Give me one second. Give me one second. Alright, sir. I've come to talk to you, but I'm only going to talk to you if you're not recording me. So it's up to you. Well, I mean, that's what I do for a living. Like, can you tell me why, why I was trespassed from public for video recording? There's no policy that prevents somebody from recording down there. Sir, if you, if you want to know about the county's uh, policy about what you are and are not allowed to record. You got to talk to the county clerk. I can pass along your contact information and name. Uh, how, to them. if you don't know that, why would you guys put your hands on me and throw me out of there, sir? The employees of the county informed me that you were violating their policy down there. There is You're no policy. You, you, sir, you could have looked at the policy before putting your hands on me, right? Before causing a lawsuit, even. Does that even occur to you? I mean, isn't that the, the right thing to do, even, sir? Do you want me to pass along your information to the county so they can contact you, or do you want to contact The county's not going to contact me. Okay. Last time we were here, I was here, I was able to video record in that office and every clerk, 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 clerk's office because they know I can. All right, some lady down there who works down there didn't want to be recorded and said to you, there is a policy that, that I can't. There is not. All right? There is not. I'm telling you there isn't. You tell me there's no policy about I'm recording. I'm telling you there's no policy. The, the employees. The only law. Of that the only law and the policy that they have, and I'm telling you what it is. And I've been to every county building on this side of the Western District of New York. Right? There's a records law that allows them to charge per copy. Right? They think because there's a records law that says they get to charge per copy, that they are the only ones who can give copies. Right? But they look at this law wrong, and. It, it, and I've had other county clerks look into this, and, and the, this county is not going to call me back. They're not. Okay. I, I, I've, I've asked them before, why can't I film the actual records down there? And they told me they didn't know they'll get back to me. That was eight months ago. So here I am doing a revisit and a re-audit to find out if, if my rights have changed, if, if they have changed policy or whatever it is. There's no policy. The policy of the law that they're talking about is a public records law that allows them to charge 50 cents per copy, right? Okay. Or $5 well, per certified copy. 
I'm telling you. Okay, but sir, even if you tell me, and I believe you, I still don't have control over that office. So you would Apparently have to Apparently you do. You, you put no. your hands on me. No. And I, carried me no, out of that no, office. No, sir. Nobody <laughs> carried you out of the office. Nobody put their hands on me and shoved me out of the office and put their chest up again. It's all on camera. I don't believe that's what happened. I didn't see the whole Then why did I leave? I didn't leave on my own accord. You guys physically pushed me out of there. You wouldn't let me leave the way I wanted to leave when you asked me to leave. You guys physically pushed me out of there. You pushed me out of this lobby. You pushed me out of everywhere. All right, so you guys broke the law. Do you want me to pass along your information? Or they do know you want who to I am. Them? Okay. Oh, well, they know who I am. They're punking right. me, and you're helping them. So what do you want from me here now? Let's get your name and badge number it's here. Three two zero. I want to know why you why you didn't even ask me or talk to me or try to look at the policy before booting a person out of public. Sir, I was informed by the employees that you're violating the policy. You refused to so stop. The, you refused to Listen, leave. let me put it like this: If the employees told you there was a policy that said no black people in that office, would you have threw threw the black person out? Sir, here's the no. Thing. You wouldn't because that would be a violation of the Fourteenth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Equal access for every human being, whether they're black or white, right? Sir, unless the you camera want something. is a First Amendment protected activity. What I want, I want to. Go, I got. What time is it? It's 4:29. 4:29. That means like a half hour before this county closes. My last half hour, I want to go back down to the records room and record. Sir, they already said you can't do that. Why? Did you? Records. They said I can't oh. because what if they said that I was black and I couldn't be in there? Sir, would you still enforce that? It's not the situation here, sir. It They're is almost the something. exact same thing. There's a it's constitutionally so protected activity running do, the camera. I'm gonna take off. All right. No, you're, you. you're useless. Yeah. You're you're absolutely useless, Perry. What 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 good is your oath that you swore to the Constitution, Perry? In this public building, as a public servant, what what good is your oath that you, you swore to the Constitution? In this building until you stop. You're useless, Perry. Who was the supervisor? This guy is ridiculous. Well, there you guys have it. They're gonna physically throw me out. I can't fight them to stay inside the building. They physically pushed me out and physically used their hands to force me out. This guy's claiming there's some type of policy. He won't even look at the policy. He doesn't know the policy. Just because someone said there's a policy that you can't film in this public space, he's gonna take his word for it. Well, Erie County fam, there you have it. That's County Hall here. That's your rights. I'd like to speak with Mr. Daniel Walmus, please. This is. Hi, Mr. Walmus. My name is Tom C. Slip, Chief Court Officer here in the 8th Judicial District. Yes, sir. I'm also with Major Brian Radka. Uh, I got your phone number from uh, Executive Secretary upstairs calling you in regards to your needs. Yeah, um, yesterday your court officers removed me and trespassed me from the county clerk's record room, the clerk's office. Yes, sir. Because I was filming. For taking pictures, um, they legally trespassed me, and I talked to was Mike uh, Rabin Horse. There you go. He said to give him a call first thing in the morning, and that they would go over this uh, policy, which I know this policy doesn't exist. So I can't take photographs in public. I know I can't in the actual courthouse, in the courtroom, the court offices, or anything to do with the courts. The county clerk's office, like the record room, doesn't apply to the court law. Agreed, sir. And uh, your officers went hands on and removed me and trespassed me. He said no. to give him a call, he would go over this policy, get it in black and white, and figure it out, get to the bottom of it, because they didn't do that yesterday before going hands on and uh, forcing me out of the building. Okay, they didn't arrest you, did they? They did not. Okay. Um, I did volunteer, well, somewhat volunteer. I didn't go on my own accord, but I mean, I didn't push the envelope where I would have just stood there and let them arrest me. Um, oh, no, understood, sir. And uh, I, I want to help you with this, sir. So I'm going to go have a, Major and I are going to have a conversation with the uh, county clerk's office this morning. Uh, we will also have a conversation with our officers. Tell me in public areas, sir, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's constitutionally protected activity. Exactly. It's, it's, it's what I do for a living. Um, 
I don't know if you've heard of my, my YouTube channel, Auditing Erie County. It's, uh, I exercise these rights and show people how to assert these rights. I've, I've video recorded in this office before, and your officers in the past have come down and explained to them that I can. This time around, they went hands-on. Um, I had trouble sleeping last night, to be honest. I, I'm pretty upset about the whole situation because I know I was in the right and I know they were in the wrong, but they wouldn't even listen. And I tried to ask, uh, it was Sergeant uh, Perry, I asked him last night, I said, why did you not even you know, ask to see this policy before you went hands-on and pushed me out of a public building? You are going to cause a lawsuit. And I don't want to file a lawsuit because I don't, I don't find it a good idea to take taxpayers' money for something that's not going to, you know, that's not coming out of Perry's pocket or, you know, your officer's pocket. It's, it's coming out of the taxpayers' money. I, that's not what I'm there for. That's understood, sir. And, and just so you understand, though, I mean, why maybe this is a little different. There was a, a duress alarm pulled down in that office, which is only should be pulled when there is, like, a physical problem. Yeah, they hit the emergency button because I was taking right. photographs and that's, of public. That's maybe why you got a little more, you know, different response from the officer. They thought there was more of a serious disturbance. But they, but ne anyway, they never even you know, stopped to ask. We have no issues with that at all. And we'll talk to our officers if they made a mistake. We'll clarify that with them. We will. Um, but we'll, we'll get answers for you. We'll clarify with the county what our role is. You know, you didn't break any laws. No one arrested you because you didn't break any laws. They asked you to leave, and, you know, it sounds like you complied with that. But I mean, if I would have stayed there to prove a point, they would have arrested right. me. And then well, it would have been a real you know, lawsuit. Well, what you're trying to do, you're trying to have transparency, and we get that. Um, you know, this is kind of new to some people, though, so there's some confusion. So we're going to get clarification. We're going to make sure our officers are on the same page, and we're going to let the county know what our role is. That's what we want to do. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking to maybe even come back down there and finish with the job that I was trying to do yesterday, just filming down in that public record room. Um, well, we're not going to stop you. Yeah, it's, it's understood what you're doing, and thank you for helping to de-escalate that situation yesterday. But, you know, they, when we hear a duress alarm, we usually think someone's in physical danger and we come running. And that, and that I think, was the difference yesterday than normal. Yeah, that needs and to be addressed with that lady with the abuse of that button. Yeah, is too can't agree. It's very concerning to me to hear that if the rest of arm was activated for yeah, really nothing. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, am I talking to two different people right now? Yes, sir. Yeah, myself, Chief Tom Cecil, and Major Brian Ratka. Who, who is the, the other person? Major Brian Ratka. Yeah, I'm the second person. This is my voice. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, we're working on this together. We're trying to get, get it solved for you. Um, you, you did nothing wrong. We understand that. Would you guys be able to admit that? I mean, that, that makes me not want to have to file a lawsuit. And I do. I will be coming down there later this evening. Um, I know Mike uh, Rabbithurst Horse tried to, you know, say, "Hey, come back tomorrow. Do this for me, and um, we'll go down there with you. We'll make sure there's no problems." It's not really what I want because I don't really need a babysitter to, you know, walk in public areas and take photographs. Um, you don't want a babysitter. Yeah. That's
they seem to think there's a policy against that, and I'm pretty sure there's not. I'm pretty sure what they're talking about is a public records law where they get X amount of copy for that photo, which I tried to explain to the sergeant last night and um, them last night that I, the way I see it, and that if I'm wrong, you know, correct me because I don't want to disseminate the wrong information to the public and tell them they can do this when they, they, they indeed can't. But that law says that they get 50 cents a copy or $5 a certified copy. If they do the work and make the copy themselves, if I pick up all those records that I can pick up and open up, that's not, there's nothing wrong with that. If I take my camera and take a picture of that, that's also not illegal. Yeah, so I, I believe you. I, I can't speak for the county clerk, but um, it, I, I'll be raising these questions that you've brought to us to them today. All right. Um, the, the reason that they, they believe that is obviously because they get the X amount of money, and I try to explain to these people all the time, the reason they get that money is so that, you know, there's a ceiling. That means if I was to say sue the county and I wanted, uh, you know, five pages of this document as part of my law case, the county can't charge me $800 a copy to make it impossible for me to, you know, I mean, like, that, that's a ceiling. It doesn't mean that they're the only ones that can take a photograph or, you know, make the copy. It, it's If they're doing the work, they get paid. But I would like to clarify that the policy says that whether or not the policy says I cannot, you know, take a picture of the document that I can open up physically, legally. You know what I mean? Like, in that records room, you're allowed to go down there and look at the records. You can open them up and look in the books. That you're allowed to. But to take a camera out while you're in there, if you have a camera out and you take a picture of it, does that violate a policy? That's what I'd like to know. Yeah, just, just, just again, you know, there's no issue on our end as far as we have dealing in all those areas. But may I ask you a question, sir? Yes, sir. May I forward your phone number to the uh, county clerk? Absolutely. I would love a phone call back. I was there eight months ago asking the same questions. I gave them my number, my email eight months ago. They never called me back. Obviously, I had to go back and, you know, deal with it again because but will, will Mark Curran call me back? I don't know. I would love a phone call for them. Absolutely. Sir, sir may I have your uh, email? I would also like to hand that to them. You got my phone number if you call me on it, and the email is auditingeriecounty at gmail.com. Auditing Erie County? Yep. Gmail.com. Thank you, sir. And, uh, yeah, I would love to talk to Mike Kern about this situation myself and get his opinion of what, what, what the rules are, because I think that some of them, the, the ladies down there, they're a little old school, and they're, uh, you know, they're... And I think that a lot of it comes down to ego as well of what happened yesterday. Just to yeah, understand, some of these things that catch people off guard, they don't know. And, and that's what we're going to make sure everybody knows. The, la the lady that told Mike, or uh, that told Perry, Sergeant Perry yesterday that it is against the policy for me to take pictures, she already knows it's not because we went through this, you know, eight months ago when I was down there. He didn't know that because we're, we're, we're security. We're yeah, I know. I'm not saying Perry didn't know. I'm saying the lady that instructed Perry, the, the one who went hands on, the, yeah. the lady that told him, she knows better. She's just, okay. once again, that's ego on her part. Yeah, understood, sir. And uh, I thank you for your patience. Um, I'm sorry this took place. We're going to try to address it this morning. Hopefully, we can get a hold of the county, Mickey, and whoever up there. Um, so just give us a little time. Yeah, I'll probably be back there today, probably around maybe 1 or 2 o'clock today. Um, I want to finish my photographing down there. And then, uh, you know, I just had, you know, just to walk through and take pictures of what's available on the wall. I'm not there to get people's personal information. I'm not there to get the rile up the ladies. I'm really not. I'm just there to exercise rights. You know, because what, what rights are like muscles, you know? If you don't use them, you might lose them. Just in this instance is a good example. These ladies don't understand my rights to be there and my right to do that. So if I exercise them and they, you know, I'm not down there video recording them to get their face on, on, on record. I'm not there to get a rise out of them. I'm just there to exercise my rights. You get it. We get it, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you for calling back. All right. Have a good day, sir. All right. Down here, March 2nd, you guys heard it. We're allowed to be in here and video recording in public, so they shouldn't give us a problem today. Let's find out if they wanna 
give us a problem today. Looked into the county rules about taking photographs. Couldn't find nothing on the books about photographs in public or taking photographs of the documents. Had my attorney look into it, found nothing. You guys heard the uh, chief administrator and the, the um, major say we shouldn't have a problem today. So let's get at it, fam. So there's a different tune down here today. We got a new sign up here today. down here anymore. Hopefully we all learned our lesson down here. These public records do belong to the public. They do not belong to the Erie County or the associates that work here. We do have the right to take photographs of them. There is no law on the books or rule on the books or policy on the books that they transferred us yesterday for taking photographs of these records. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we're looking at even. I, it probably doesn't even matter. It's just the point that we can and we, we are allowed to be down here and take photographs of stuff. And this lady's going to create some privacy. She doesn't want to see me taking photographs of the records, but I think that we've learned our lesson down here. Oh yes, there's, there's, there's nothing against filming documents on here. These are public documents. Open to the public. If, if, you, if you are willing to produce the law or ruling that, that I cannot, I'd be more than happy to disseminate that to the public, but there is not anything on the books. These are public documents. Now, I don't want to do anything illegal. I'm saying if there is a ruling or law about me filming public documents and you can show it to me or prove it to me, but I'm telling you there is not. I've researched it. I do this for a living. 
And as far as public, being a public servant, you guys have no right to expectation of privacy. It is a constitutionally protected activity to get your pictures taken down here, to have video recording the co our, our public servants in the course of their duties. Hitting the panic button and having security remove me is uh, illegal on your guys' end. But like I said, I'm not trying to do anything illegal down here. If you can show me this policy that you guys tried to have me removed yesterday, or you can show me a policy that says I cannot take photos of the documents, I'm more than happy to entertain it with you guys. But I'm 99.9% .9 sure there's nothing on the books that says we can't come down here and take a photograph of our documents. So if anybody would like to produce that document, I'm more than happy to entertain it with you guys. As a matter of fact, when I was here eight months ago, I left my email address for them to give me that documentation that says that we can't, and they never returned that. So nobody's ever produced this, this policy that says the, the people can't run a camera down here or take pictures of the documents. I've been across the entire Western District of New York and nobody else has ever produced any of that either. Unfortunately, we can't oh, say unfortunate. We gotta say fortunately here in America. Yeah. This is the proper way to say it. Yeah, he's allowed. We're exercising our rights. Any fucking spaces, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's got the right. Do you work back there, sir? I'm a contract. As I'm saying, that's what that is back there. Is that's like a contracted space back there? I, I look back there. I'm, I don't try to go into like restricted access areas and that like that. I was we just, just we just get paranoid now. Dave. No, I get it. I'm just saying. I, I was wondering what was back there, but I don't really know. You said you're cool. You're cool. So that all that back there is contracted space for like re, you're a server survey researcher or something like along that lines. Hundred and twenty three. And all that space back there is rented out. Gotcha. Go there for your thing. We gotta be proud to be Americans, you know? Yeah, I'm a United States Marine, man, so I'm proud. Yeah, you swore that all twice then. Yeah, I sure to did. Be a, right to, to be an officer of the court here and to be a Well, a, my, a my, my particular job is I'm actually the head of security for Homeland Security, so I'm actually stationed across the street. Oh, so you're not actually a court officer here? No, 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 no. We're actually part of Homeland Security, nice. protective services. So our duty is basically, obviously, to protect and serve like anybody else, but we're actually not peace officers. We're we're security officers for Homeland Security Emergency Service under county, not all right. federal. So, so you work for the, the county. Yeah, it's a difference. The difference between the federal and the county level. That's all. Right. all. But other than that, I mean, listen, you have the right to film and take pictures in any public spaces. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't know the rules, regulations, and the yeah. Laws. And that's just part of why I do this. Right. What I do is to educate people to exercise rights. Because a lot of people, like yesterday, I was right. trespassed out of here, took out of here, hands on. And uh, illegally trespass because nobody's exercised that right down there, right. and they didn't know, you know. I mean, me exercising that right gives them the, so the, the understanding, you know. Is, it's, I think a lot of people, are, what they do is they see somebody with a camera. First thing they do is they get that camera shock, right? Like the Hollywood shock, like, oh, why am I on camera? So they automatically just assume that, hey, why is this guy in our building? Why is he allowed to do this? But there is no statute, and there is no laws, and there's nothing posted that says that you can't. Yeah, and there, couldn't, and there couldn't be because the First Amendment well, of the United States Constitution gives under the, yeah, exactly. the right to freedom of the press. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that, though. You know, so a lot of people are not educated on it. And, it, it, you know, it, to be rightfully truthful, it is good to have audits that go out to see what's going on in all the buildings. You know, even, just, even for employee conduct right. checks, is certain, like, you know, the way that the public uh, employees treat the public is it's important that we are retreated with respect because at the end of the day, we all pay the salaries of the people who work in these buildings. Right, and you also got to agree too, right? You don't have to, but we're all salary, we're all taxpayers as well. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I you pay, know, I pay taxes we could, we could go on <laughs> about that, but that's questionable. Right. You know what I mean? Well, like, I mean, I pay a lot of taxes, trust me. So a lot of, a lot of us. The government pays you $100, say, and then they take 25 back to themselves. Did they really pay taxes? Uh, that's I mean, questionable. But they they definitely make it look like you right. do I pay mean, a lot. Depending on what happens with the paycheck, who wants to pay taxes? Right. Nobody does, right? Nobody wants to pay taxes. Well, like Jesus said, you know, you consider the, render, the services that are rendered, you know, pay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Right. That's what he said. But the way that, to make the economy run, obviously, we got to make sure that there is taxes. You know, right. Nobody wants to pay taxes, obviously, right? But the thing about it is that we all, all, every employee that's in here, every employee across the street, any government employee, we all pay taxes. In one way or another, we're all paid it because it comes out of our check somewhere or another. I don't know where it goes to. I don't, you know, the, the, don't know. In, in goes, the community, the auditing community, is a big question right. of whether government employees really pay taxes. You know, they they, they do out of their paychecks. It's, it's obvious when right. you see your W two and that and it goes yeah. back. But like, like I said, like a private contractor pays you a hundred dollars. He pays the government twenty five, and you get seventy five. Now okay. you work for the government. They pay you a hundred. They take 25 back. I mean, I can't, Did they really? Uh, but see, obviously, in right. your point of view, yes, they would. Yeah, like if I, if I opened up my W-2 and my yeah. paycheck, I would see that I got you know, over $1,000 in deductions. You know what I'm saying? So where, yeah. that, where that federal money goes, where the state money goes, where this money goes, I'm not, I don't, you know, I'm not educated enough to know or know deeply that hey, it's going to this person. I, I definitely you agree. You guys technically do pay taxes right. out of your check, but at the same time, you know, where does that money come from? The same person that's going back to it is it really paying tax? There's that concept out there, but we won't get into that too right. bad. <laughs> I mean, my thing, is, my thing is here is that obviously to educate the, the county employees and educate people here too that you know someone that what you're doing is obviously legal. It's not illegal, okay? It, the Supreme Court has not ruled against it, right? It's one of our constitutional laws. It's this, and yeah, rights. That's no, what we have that no, for. Congress shall not Congress. make any law that prohibits right. it. So my thing is that I don't want, as, as you are a citizen to the United States, right? As much as you are a citizen to the United States, you have all the legal rights as much as I have legal rights as well. So my thing is that I don't want you being accosted as well or being infringed like on yesterday. as well. I don't want Were you working yesterday? No, I wasn't here yesterday, yeah. no. But I don't want, but you see what I'm saying? I don't want you to have, I want you to have the same treatment that everybody else has that has the legal right to have the same yeah, treatment. Yeah, of course. Well. And you, because you're here with a camera, that doesn't, that, that doesn't bother me. Yeah, it shouldn't. You know, I mean, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're okay, right? So my thing is this, is that as long as you're in the public spaces and you know, you know, you're- Yeah, I know to stay out of the public spaces. Stay out of the court, you're stay, out of, stay yeah, in the public absolutely. spaces. And then, that's like back there, I was just asking right. that gentleman, I was like, cause I don't know what that is. I don't I can't say right. whether that's public space back there or not. So I just tend to stay out of there. That's he the says that they rent spaces back yeah, there. So, it, so yeah. my thing is the problem is this, is that there are, sometimes it's not displayed properly to what is off limits and what's not off limits. If I don't know, I just stay out because right. I got to have or credibility know, at the end might, of the day. You might walk this way, but you didn't know, right? Because yeah. it wasn't properly displayed that, hey, this is a restricted area. Yeah, I've learned that you know, to keep my credibility is that I stay in the publicly accessible areas. I just, if I don't know, I don't go. Right, right. I mean, like I said, I'm not here to infringe on your rights, just like I hope you're not here to infringe on my rights. The fact of the matter is that I'm here to protect you as well as I'm here to protect everybody else. So my thing is that some people are not educated enough to know what you're trying to do here. And it kind of freaks them out a little bit because they see a guy with a camera and they're like, hey, what's this guy doing? You came through security, you obviously were cleared, everything's good. Like I said, if you go around, you want to take pictures, I mean, this is a beautiful building, um, you want to take pictures, you want to videotape, you have all the right in the world to do that. I'm not going to infringe on that right for you. My thing, my concern is you and everybody else. So, I mean, I can't speak for what happened yesterday, I wasn't here. Um, it wasn't my doing. I'm sure know. you heard about it. Um, I, yeah, of course I heard about it. I mean, everybody, everybody hears about it, what goes on throughout the county. But the thing about it, excuse me, um, the thing about it is that, you know, you can do what you need to do when it comes to doing the right thing in public spaces and stuff like that. I will give big props to the management and the court security and uh, the all court officers. It's because it takes you on know, a lot to admit they were wrong and, and to apologize. And right. they pretty much did that. So I do appreciate that. And the last thing I want to do is file a lawsuit and take money from the taxpayers because it's not coming out of the guys, you know, who never took the time to understand my rights or the policy. But at the end of the day, we all got educated here. and. Uh, I'm happy about that. I think that. some people are more educated because they've been in the limelight before. 
you know, maybe maybe they've. Um, it's not my. It wasn't my first time being here. That yeah. lady down there I told her there's a policy against it. and It's illegal. She should have known better. Right. But I mean, I can't, I can't educate other people that didn't do this. I think a better. lot of some of it comes down to ego as well down there. Uh, and they it, they've it, worked it, here for so long. They the they feel like they own the place. Some people are educated enough to know what the rules are. What the you know because there is departmental rules and then there obviously is the Supreme Court the laws. The, you know obviously people some people don't know the difference. Um, so my thing is like you know when I was in the Marine Corps. We had rules and regulations. Government, it was a government entity. Same thing with this job. I have rules and regulations. I gotta follow as well, or I don't keep my job. How long have you been? Know? I've been show. here. Right, it'll be seven years and two more days. So, Homeland Security. Yeah. Well, we were under building and grounds for about three of those years, and then the rest of the years, I was president, we've been under Homeland Security. So. You mean the 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 term buildings grounds changed to Homeland Security? Yeah. So like we were under building the grounds of the Erie County uh, Department of Public Works. So our patches used to say building and grounds, um, and then we were part of that security. So about we, seven years ago, the so I would say about Homeland Security three and a half years ago, three and a half years ago, uh, we, we the, the Department of yep. Homeland Security yep. was developed. Oh, that's neat. No, yeah. A lot of people might not have known that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I mean, like I said, we're not here to infringe on your rights, and we're not here to infringe on anybody else's rights. We just want to make sure that everybody comes to work, does their job, goes home, they're safe, everybody's safe. You came through security. I know that you don't have anything on you that can harm anybody. Yeah. You have a camera. Some people think that harms people. Other people, they don't care. Some old ladies, you know, they don't like their pictures taken. Um, but I mean, it is. I mean, we all know you're on YouTube. We all know you're on YouTube. We know who you are. I mean, to me, it doesn't. I don't have a problem with that. You know, if you cause an issue, then then I get called and I say, hey, well, you know, what's going on here? If I'm you know? causing a disturbance or I'm breaking the law, then trespassing is a secondary crime and it right. could be trespassed. Right. But but I have to give you the opportunity to tell you that you're going to be criminally trespassed. Right. You, you can't to... just initially trespass. Right. Unless you actually do something, you know, extraordinary, then I can say, okay, disorderly conduct or you're causing a big ruckus here. You know, we're going to have to ask you to leave that case. But other than that, like I said, you seem cordial to me. If you want to keep filming, keep taking pictures. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm out here to cause positive change and exercise rights. I'm not going to get it done being a jerk or an right. asshole, that's for sure. I know Reyes. I got, you know Reyes? Um, um, the other guy, I think. Paul was, Reyes? Think, Sean yeah, Paul short, Reyes? Short, um, short stature guy. Has the camera, um, has a press that says press on his. On his nah, I don't know if I've run into him right now. I was here the other day, and I, I've actually interacted with him and had some talks with him too. I thought you were talking about Long Island Audit, a guy named Paul. No, Reyes. it's not him. He actually said he, he, he said that he actually was working with you, and I said, Oh, you are? But he was outside the other day. And, I, um, I pretend know. to work alone. Yeah. That, either way, he's trying to do the exact same yeah. thing you're trying to do, you know? So, I mean, he, he's visited our building probably six or seven times. Um, you know, you come and do, you, you, you take care of your job, you do what you got to do. And then you go from there. You know, like I said, if you're not here to disturb or cause any problems and you just want to exercise your rights, under the Constitution, you have every right to do that. Right. And that's the freedoms that we give people, us as veterans, we gave that freedom to people to be able to do that. Right. Right? So why take it away? So I don't have a problem. Like I said, is it all is it all court upstairs or is, is. It, is there a law library up there as well? No, the law library is at 77 West Eagle. Okay. Yeah. The so on the second floor and the third floor you have basically um, surrogate courts and then you got ceremony the ceremonial courtroom up there. So uh -huh. that's probably the reason why you can't go upstairs because th now those are those that's that's passed by a judge to say that you can't. Yeah, you know there's laws of yeah. Well, because you don't want somebody on camera that's going through a, a, an adoption or a divorce or. You I know. think the laws in the courtrooms might have more to do with, like, for instance, a George Floyd case or yeah. uh, or the guy who uh, was it when the self defense and the. Oh, you're talking about um, Kyle Rittenhouse. Yep, yep. Now, if the camera can get in the courtroom and everybody can see who the juror is, right. people can threaten the jurors, sure. find out where they live, and, yeah. and, but imagine, and affect imagine, law. Imagine you're but, a parent and you're trying to adopt or something like that, and say the other parents are not agreeing, and they see who you are. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you don't want you don't want like altercations going outside either. You know, so I mean, of course not. I think that's why they're kind of hairy with the, the courtrooms and stuff like that. But other than that, like I said, I don't have any issues with you. Like I said, as long as you're obviously conducting yourself in a well manner. Not yeah, just remember, it's thank God we're Americans and we can do that. You know, we're not in a communist nation, and not unfortunately. It's a well, it is, and the fact of the matter is that due to our vets, we can say thank you to them. Right, right? and I do. I thank you for your service. So, Me and the Erie County fam definitely appreciate yeah. our, our vets who make it possible for us to be able to exercise our rights and be well, more than apps or afternoon. Um, I mean, the thing about it is this: is that we all want what's best for the citizens of the United States, right? Mm -hmm. We all do. Obviously, that's what you're here for. 
Right. right? You're trying to expose certain bad things, good things, neutral things, if things are not just or justified or not justified, that's what you're here to do. You're here to expose that. And the fact of the matter is that, who am I to tell you that you can't follow, that you're following the law? Like I said, where it comes to an altercation is because someone's not educated enough or doesn't really know what the actual rules and regulations are or the law is. So then it gets it gets to that point. You know what I'm saying? Well, like I said, you seem good to me. Peaceful. I don't have a problem with you. Keep it peaceful, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, don't have, I don't have a problem with you right now. You know, now if it becomes, you know, obviously where you become um, irate or whatever like that, then of course. I mean, you seem like you understand. Yeah. Right? Okay. I've been across the whole Western District of New York, and uh, <laughs> you're your county fam. I, I, go, I go on there. I go on there. I saw you. Cool. I mean, like I said, I like the deer head, by the way, though. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely, you're your county family member here. I mean, the thing about it is, that, like I said, man, you're, you're doing your thing. It is what it is, man. I, my job is not to sit here and harass you. Right. You know, when you're not harassing anybody else. Um, like I said, the legitimacy of some of these uh, workers is that they're just concerned because they don't normally get somebody to come in here with a camera yeah. and kind of like, you know, video everything because, you know, with today's society and the way the world's going, like, you don't know what the hell's going on nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Right. So people are just kind of a little skeptical and scared, that's all. So, gotcha. Well, it's nice talking to you. Yeah, you too. Luca, by the way. Damn. All right, all right Dan. Let's get some close up of these steps here. Marble on these steps. Chandeliers, fancy, fancy. Filming here is legal. What's up? The court law says that uh, you can't film in courtrooms or court offices or hallways therefore of. Yeah, this this is isn't this isn't connected to a courtroom or a court office. This is our office. We're employees. This is my permanent post. So Definitely. I'm not too worried about it because there's nothing like I said before, there's nothing very sensitive right now, but just so you know in the future. I understand, but I'm saying this is legal to film here in this uh, corridor. There's no ruling laws or, or policy that can pre prevent this from happening, is what I'm it, saying. It, it, it depends on your interpretation of what a court office is. That would be, that would be different. This is a security checkpoint. This isn't really a court office. Yeah. I, I can see what you're saying. Yeah, it's up. Do you want to talk to the supervisor? No, I don't, I don't need I actually spoke to Supervisor the Chief um, uh, Tom uh, Ceaslaw this yeah, morning, and I also talked yeah, to uh, Major Brian uh, yep, those are one Racker. Of the so they told me I was cool, I won't have any problems today. Yeah, no, not at all. Uh, if you want to talk to someone again, I can get them, otherwise, I'll call them up. Uh, you know, if you want to keep them here. No, I don't, I don't need to talk to anybody. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you again. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you again. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you again. Okay. You ever seen the paintings on the inside of uh, City Hall? Yeah, yeah. That's that's unique too. Like over the top. I've I've heard there's swastikas in there on the paintings really? in there, but I haven't really filmed. I haven't been there. I do have to head there and yeah, get that one day. That. that that's a pretty extravagantly painted building as well. But, all right, it's nice nice talking with you guys. Right, I think I got everything I need here today.
we live in a society now where people want to recall how they discipline their child. The people that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child. You can't you can discipline your child in their room. Take something away from them. If they act up, well, I'm like, son, you can't play the game.